the narrative of clandestine agreements, betrayal, and a century-long conflict unfolded when the wealthiest family on the planet sought to establish their own nation in 1917. The Rothschilds, a trillion-dollar dynasty credited with revolutionizing modern banking, utilized their vast wealth, influence and connections to strike a covert pact with the British government. This arrangement ultimately led to the establishment of Israel as a nation-state. Adding to the intrigue is the eccentric persona of the mastermind behind this arrangement, Lord Walter Rothschild. Walter Rothschild, an enigmatic billionaire, flaunted his immense fortune by unconventional means, such as importing zebras from Africa to draw his carriage, rather than using conventional horses. Moreover, he harbored a peculiar hobby of collecting insects, amassing a staggering collection of over a million butterflies, moths, and other specimens. The Jewish community, known for its intelligence and industriousness, had long sought a homeland with efforts to secure significant territory persisting across Europe. However, their endeavors remained fruitless until they allied with the extraordinarily wealthy Walter Rothschild. Renowned for their dominance and merciless tactics, the Rothschilds wielded their influence without hesitation, leveraging it as a formidable weapon against adversaries. Failure to acquiesce to their demands incurred severe consequences. By the early 1900s, the Rothschilds had cemented their status as the preeminent family in Europe, extending financial aid even to entire nations like France to stabilize economies. Yet, alongside their power, they cultivated a reputation for ruthlessness, employing their influence to overcome obstacles and subdue opposition. Walter Rothschild orchestrated the necessary maneuvers and manipulations, compelling the British government to commit to facilitating the creation of Israel, as evidenced by an official correspondence in 1917, promising to exert all efforts towards securing land for this purpose. The letter, dated November 2, 1917, addressed to Lord Rothschild, marked a pivotal moment in history as it signaled the reshaping of global geopolitics. This document, known as the Balfour Declaration, represents a significant milestone in Jewish history, symbolizing the culmination of Zionist aspirations. The correspondence, initiated by the British government and approved by the cabinet, explicitly expressed sympathy towards Jewish aspirations for a homeland. The letter's recipient, Lord Rothschild, is a central figure in this narrative, embodying the influence and power wielded by the Rothschild family. The Balfour Declaration, often regarded as one of the most renowned letters in Jewish history, underscores the Rothschild's pivotal role in the establishment of Israel. In an interview, a prominent member of the Rothschild family proudly attests to their ancestors' instrumental role in the creation of Israel, highlighting the family's wealth, influence, and ability to sway governments. Subsequently, Britain honored its commitment to the Rothschilds, providing substantial land for the formation of Israel. In May 1948, the State of Israel was officially established, marking a significant milestone. However, the Rothschilds' involvement did not end there. They embarked on ambitious projects, investing millions into Israel's infrastructure, including schools and roads. James Rothschild personally financed the construction of Israel's Congress building, while Dorothy Rothschild funded the Supreme Court building. Despite their philanthropic endeavors, the Rothschilds' actions also sparked controversy and conflict. The land allocated for Israel had been inhabited by Palestinians, leading to a protracted and contentious dispute that has persisted for decades. However, the focus of this narrative is not on the ensuing conflicts, but rather on the immense power wielded by the Rothschild dynasty. Indeed, the Rothschild's influence transcends mere wealth. It encompasses centuries of history, characterized by their adept manipulation of money, 
violence and power to shape and mold the world according to their interests. The family's ascent to power began in 1744 with Maya Amschel Rothschild, who hailed from humble beginnings in the ghettos of Frankfurt. From these origins, the Rothschilds pursued banking not out of altruism, but as a means to amass power, laying the foundation for the modern banking industry through ruthless tactics and strategic maneuvers. Mayer had a strategic vision to transform his modest beginnings into substantial wealth. As a young entrepreneur, he initiated a money-lending venture with minimal capital, gradually expanding his financial resources. Despite the apparent simplicity of this endeavor, the inherent risk of non-repayment posed a significant challenge. However, Mayer's tenacity and unyielding demeanor ensured that borrowers repaid their debts with interest, earning him a formidable reputation from an early age. Moreover, Mayer strategically positioned himself as the personal banker to members of the German royal family, further augmenting his influence and stature in financial circles. Over time, his modest money-lending enterprise evolved into a prosperous financial institution. Yet Mayer remained cognizant of a formidable adversary. Recognizing the impermanence of his achievements, Mayer imparted his financial acumen to his five sons, emphasizing not only fiscal management, but also the art of manipulation and influence. Understanding the correlation between wealth and power, Mayer dispatched his sons, Amel, Solomon, Nathan, Carl, and Jacob, to various European cities, each tasked with dominating the banking sector. The Rothschild brothers swiftly applied their father's astute tactics, expanding their banking operations across major European hubs such as London, Paris, Vienna and Naples. Their shrewd maneuvers culminated in the establishment of the world's first international bank, laying the groundwork for modern international banking practices. Additionally, the Rothschilds pioneered the utilization of government bonds to raise capital, further consolidating their financial dominance. Their influence extended beyond mere banking, as they played a pivotal role in the establishment of central banks in numerous countries, including the Bank of England and the Bank of France. Despite their contributions to the financial landscape, the Rothschilds' legacy is tainted by their involvement in morally dubious practices such as profiting from warfare and human suffering. One notable instance of their Machiavellian tactics occurred during the Napoleonic Wars in the 19th century. Facing the threat of Napoleon's imperial ambitions, the Rothschilds cynically exploited the conflict by providing financial assistance to both the British and French governments. This calculated move not only ensured their continued influence, but also exacerbated the devastating consequences of war, highlighting the ruthlessness of their pursuit of power and wealth. By the year 1815, the Rothschilds were involved in a cunning financial maneuver during the Napoleonic Wars. They supplied Napoleon with gold and silver to procure weapons for attacking the British, while concurrently providing funds to the British for armaments to counter Napoleon's forces. This calculated strategy ensured that regardless of the war's outcome, the Rothschilds would emerge victorious. Whichever side triumphed would owe substantial debts to the Rothschilds, solidifying their position as Europe's foremost banking family. However, their approach had a significant drawback. By funding both sides, they inadvertently prolonged the conflict, resulting in countless casualties on the battlefield. The war eventually concluded with Napoleon's defeat at the Battle of Waterloo, securing victory for the British coalition forces, who now owed substantial sums to the Rothschilds. Instead of reveling in their triumph, the Rothschilds had another ace up their sleeve, poised to exponentially increase their wealth within a mere 24 hours. This marked the third instance of the Rothschilds manipulating global events to their advantage. 
While the Battle of Waterloo was perceived as a decisive moment in world history, the Rothschilds viewed it as a lucrative opportunity. They exploited the fluctuation of currency values on the stock exchange, understanding that the outcome of the battle would impact market sentiment. Nathan Rothschild, in a shrewd move, employed a spy to monitor the battle's outcome. Upon learning of Napoleon's defeat, Nathan orchestrated a deceptive scheme. Instead of disseminating news of Britain's victory, Nathan's agents spread false rumors of Napoleon's triumph, inducing panic selling of British bonds. This orchestrated panic caused the value of the pound sterling to plummet. Nathan then capitalized on the ensuing chaos, instructing his agents to purchase undervalued bonds en masse. When the official news of Britain's victory finally arrived, the Rothschilds had already amassed a significant portion of bonds at bargain prices, poised to reap immense profits as market prices rebounded. This ruthless manipulation of information and financial markets exemplifies the extent of the Rothschilds' influence and their willingness to exploit global events for personal gain. Following the British victory, the pound sterling experienced a significant surge in value, catapulting the Rothschilds into unimaginable wealth virtually overnight. Reports suggest that this single maneuver netted the Rothschilds the equivalent of $6 billion. This monumental windfall set the stage for their next world-altering move, shaping public perception. The Rothschilds, having accumulated vast fortunes beyond their needs, imparted their strategic insights to the next generation. As technology progressed, with the advent of radio and television, information dissemination underwent a transformative shift. Recognizing the potency of information as a new form of power, the younger Rothschilds perceived it as a threat to their established dominance, predicated on the principle that money is power. To maintain their supremacy, the Rothschilds clandestinely invested in media conglomerates, television networks, Hollywood studios and newspapers. While precise details regarding their media holdings remain elusive, their boundless resources allowed them to exert control over global media outlets. This strategic maneuver enabled them to manipulate public opinion and shape societal behavior on an unprecedented scale. Additionally, the Rothschilds extended their influence across diverse industries through the establishment of the Rothschild Group. By strategically investing in pivotal companies worldwide, they wielded substantial sway over global economic dynamics. Their vast stakes in corporations, from the United States to Japan to Switzerland, afforded them the leverage to influence market prices, regulate supply and demand, and orchestrate global affairs to their advantage. Despite the opacity surrounding their exact wealth, estimates peg the Rothschilds' assets at over $1 trillion. Their unparalleled accumulation of wealth solidifies their status as the wealthiest family in history, epitomizing the quintessential rags-to-riches narrative. The Rothschilds serve as a testament to the adage that money begets power, empowering them to exert unparalleled influence over the world's affairs.